Well, we had a few of our cars broken into last night. This has happened before, unfortunately. Thankfully, I don't keep anything important in my car, but they did rummage around my glove box. Very frustrating. My sister thought her wallet was stolen. All of this happened, I think, before 7 a.m., but after 4.45 a.m., maybe even after that. They came, they hit the whole neighborhood, actually. Everybody's posting about it on the neighborhood Facebook page. This is like the second or third time it's happened to me. It happened in my old neighborhood too, and I'm thinking it's the same people, and they've never been caught. This neighborhood has so many ring doorbells and cameras. So many people get up earlier when they were coming through around that time that they were 100% seen on camera and people got license plates that they think it was. Two vehicles were stolen, so there's like police searching for those. This was not the plan for Vlogmas Day 19 at all. Actually, we're about to get in the car to head to Williamsburg for the day. We're gonna do some antique and vintage shopping there. It's Paisley and Jade's moving van. Paisley and Jade is, I guess, Virginia-based rental company for events. Like if you have a wedding, just some event that you need to rent some furniture for, they have a lot of really, really great antique and vintage stuff, chairs, rugs, I know they're doing kind of like yurt tents now, which are kind of cool. Mirrors, all that amazing stuff. I'll put their Instagram right here so you can go check them out, but I've been following them for years. I've never seen their truck before. That was kind of cool to see. Tori pointed it out. There were several antique stores and malls in the area, and there was this particular one. It's Williamsburg Antique Mall. And so I want to hit this place up first and see what they have. This place is popping. It is so busy in here. And I'll tell you what, their customer service is like on point. I've never seen this in an antique mall before, but they basically have a buzzer halfway up every aisle that if you push it, someone will come and assist you or carry your items up to the front. Very, very helpful. I love it. Oh, I like the color on that. Yeah, it's cute. Fiesta wear water picture. You're really into the Fiesta wear here well, recently. I'm trying to find a neutral one. I like that purse back there. Yeah, I didn't know if you noticed it. Oh, 38. So all their showcases are beautifully organized. Prices are very upfront, present. You can see everything. All the good stuff. Copper candlesticks. Ooh. Vintage chocolate. What? What? I've never heard of that before. That says chocolate, right? Chocolate glass. Ooh. Tori just pointed these out. Pair three tiered glass table lamp brass collars. It's really pretty. Love those. Did you see all the crucifixes all over the place? There's here's a little hole tub of them. <laughs> Ooh, this whole booth is 20% off Christmas items and Longaberg products. But look at these stoneware beer mugs. There's a pair, or it's, it, it, there's two of them, I should say. For the 34 each. Those are great. Nice color. For 95? 95. 95. Some people know their Crocs. They I do. don't. I yeah, just try and pick them up at a decent price, but some people really know their Crocs. I like that, actually, that one he's pottering in the middle. Yes. Mm. 48. 48? Cannon Croc. Oh, it said Shenandoah Valley on that thing, didn't it? This person knows their stuff. It might be a tight, cramped booth, but they, they know what they got for sure. Ooh. Oh, that's a huge frame. Forty-nine bucks for this gorgeous huge frame. I mean it's got some missing parts, but I don't mind. I also like the cabinet that's sitting on. Oh, not for sale. Oh, love that painting. 
beautiful. $1.99. Oh my gosh, the original art in this booth is an amazing price. I might have to pick that one up over there. I love this one. I love them all, actually. Ooh. For 40? For 40, but I love that so much. Planter. It is? Oh, it's a Wait, it's a planter? Oh, it is. I love the the wear on that, though. It's gorgeous. It's a gold version of the one I have. Oh, I have the silver one. Yeah, you got it for oh, me. Oh, that's right. That when we were in um, Florida. Yes. Vintage gold purse. Oh, that's in the box. so crazy. 37. You want vintage Asian art, hand painted tin. Kind of has a tin sound to it. That's beautiful. Can you open it up? Cute. Nope. No? I cannot. <laughs> okay, don't force it. Yeah, no, <laughs> I like it though. I like the colors on it. Ooh, I kind of like the vase that was behind it too. Brown glaze vase pottery. Kind of has a pineapple look to it. 18. It is signed by Sean Davis. Quartz candle. Ooh. Is there a price on the bottom? Yes, yeah, sorry. It is $20. $20. Kind of reminds me of the salt lamps. I know, that's so popular. Cute glass set. Mid century picture in six glasses, gold stripes for 46 for the set. Antique toys and chocolate molds, pottery. I just found some boxes. Oh, I like the boxes. This one's really cute. This wooden swan, 35. I think that's a great price. Terracotta pots, 60 a piece. Oh, there's two. Yeah, there's two. This one has a crack, but these are really cool. Really interesting design. Another concrete swan. <laughs> With a sticky note. Quite rare. <laughs> $48. Just, just in case really, you were wondering. Just in case you were wondering. But I love the size of it. It's very cute. Oil on canvas signed. Ooh. 65. 65 still bucks. Life. So this is very interesting down here. It's an old stool. It's a <laughs> labeled unique and so old for 67. So it would appear that this folds down. I don't know if it also was used as like a footrest of some kind, which I would think. You can either lay your feet up there down here. But I love the old rug on it and the spider eggs. That's a nice touch. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that is really interesting. I'm going to have to look more into that. I'm not exactly sure. It looks like just a, a bit rest slash little mini stool, right? I'm not really sure. I'll have to look into that. Or somebody in the comments, please let me know what you think it is if you've seen this before. Old tea kittle that's built like a tank. This person's labeling is great. So I'm still just now leaving the first row I've, and I keep getting distracted by everything. So this, these paintings remind me of the canvas that I currently, or the canvas that I currently have in my space titled The Lovers. Ironstone. Maybe, maybe. Mm, yes it is. Assistance at 145 for the bowl and pitcher. Can I see the stamp? This is John, yep, Johnson Bros. And a very nice piece. That is the coolest. For 425. What is it? Handmade. Candle holder? Yeah, candle holder. That is the coolest candle holder I've ever seen. I think I'm just into this right now because I, have, I found that one clock, but that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And I think somebody commented the other day that the clock was an Edgewood piece and I and that's what this is, so that's what I'm I'm gonna call it from now on. Hold up, everybody. Pause. Tori found a coach. A cute coach. 
Ooh. For 49. For 49. Kind of like the little rug bag that's right behind you, too. Yeah, it's all that as well. There's a few. There's a few of them? A few oh. Cool bags in here. Yeah. This one's really nice. 68. Fabric purse with a lift clasp chain handle, 68. It's nice. Wicker sewing basket. Oh, cool. For 27. Could be used as a handbag as well. This one is chocked full of stuff. A marble lamp tucked back there. I see it. I see it. I don't see a price tag though. But it's very nice. The little felt dough for 15. What'd you find? <gasps> <laughs> the hand. The hand. I already have the head. <laughs> you do already have the head. For 25. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. We saw it at the same time. So cute. 15 for the pair. Alabaster. Cockatoos. Those are mine. I like the name of this one. Old Town Antiques. This little sleigh is so cute. Hand painted. 225 antique sled flower pattern. That is really cute really really like that the perfect christmas decor for me it's not like too christmasy but just enough just the hint how much are you guys gonna judge me if i buy slate pieces <laughs> i love old slate for like staging a table placement i think they're old slate roof shingles for five dollars a piece and right beside it is this beautiful ironstone wash basin i don't know how to pull it out because i'm stuck between this and the slate but it looks like it's 38 bucks this is actually a really big wash basin oh the little scotty glass dishes i use these for business card holders whenever i find them ten dollars a piece and there's like three of them Look at this wine basket. Oh, that's such a good idea. That's a good idea. Wow. 69. So the wine ball goes in there and then you got your two glasses. And an opener. And a cork. Your clothes are thingy. Good grief. The dried flowers framed. Sorry for the glare. 26 firm. It's like vintage Toys R Us. Yeah. Well, some of it. These guys are really cute. These are gonna end up being like the most Christmassy thing I buy and they're actually not a bad price. But Tori spotted the herons. The herons. How much? 24. 24 a piece? Uh, no, that one says 22, that one says 26. Six, so it oh, okay. It just depends on which piece it is. I've sold a couple of those and they always <gasps> do very well. People oh, like them. You have something very similar to this. I do? Yes. Just kidding. Facebook Marketplace does. <laughs> I was gonna say. Mexican bird pottery. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't tell if this is stone or wood. Oh, wood. It's definitely wood. Aspen wood vase for 17. It's not bad. Love this mirror. Vintage etched mirror for 99 and worth every penny. That's totally, that's probably about what I would have for sale in my booth. There's just so much more to see than I was expecting. Yeah, I saw one of those up front. I love those pyramid tiered glass, I guess little showcase pieces, but look at that mirror. It's like East Lake style, I think. No? 185 wooden carved mirror vintage. 185? Correct. 
It's gorgeous. That's very nice. Mm-hmm. That one? Yeah. $27. Really? Stonework with window pane design. Can I, is there a stamp? Uh, no. No, but I kind of, it's cute though. Mm -hmm. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen that many chocolate molds ever before. That baby one's kind of disturbing. Wow. The rabbit one is huge. Look at these tiny candle holders. Aww. And look, there's like one with the candle in it back there. The sea, little teeny yes. one, the mermaid sitting on the chair. <laughs> they have the coolest smalls. Oh man, these ha these little jugs, like the big ones are so collectible. I don't think I've ever seen little teeny ones, the folk art. So I'm experiencing a little system overload again. I've, it happens every now and then. There's just so much good stuff to see. And there's a mix of higher prices and really reasonable prices. So I have to look at everything. I like this basket a lot, but I don't see a price tag anywhere. You guys are gonna love this. It's a wooden cow mold for 58. I've hit the grapevine. Gosh, that was such a cheesy joke. But look at them all. Alabaster, marble, stone. This set's 42, 42. These are beautiful. Love these. 35. Some jade in there too. Huge bundles over here. 75. So Tori went to the other side of the antique mall to see if she can find anything over there because we're running out of time. We have other places we need to be. And my phone battery is dying. I think we're going to need to do a part two on this place because it is just so much good stuff to see. I haven't even hit half of it yet. I don't think you guys will mind if I have to come back here, right? And do a part two to this trip. Some marble top piece with a tile back. It looks like a harvest motif. Well, it's on wheels too. Wonderful tile on this antique marble top washstand for $185. It is so cute. I love that so much. I would have that in my own house for sure. And I look up and I see this cute little shelf piece, Victorian wood shelf for 18. Love that, it's kind of like a little sun or sunflower maybe. Look at that cork lamp. <laughs> wow. 75 for this mid-century cork lamp and shade. It is really, really cool, I love that. We've talked about this before, but anytime I see an old antique shoe rack, it's either not for sale or is super expensive, but that one is beautiful. And actually there's a whole nother one on the other side that they use for display and shelving. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? And we got some hands. I found hands. Finally. <laughs> Look at this table. I love it. And it's only freaking $47. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. On the wheels. Dang. This place just keeps going. Tori, look at these mushroom glasses. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. You can actually feel it, it's not just. Yeah, it's on top of the glass. Yeah, texture. 22 karat gold mushroom highball glasses. For, for, <laughs> for 185. For six. For six, but I've never seen anything like that. That is adorable. Actually, look at that painting. Oh, Ooh, it is? Ruth oh. C. Wolf. Oh, that is beautiful. I love the colors. Oh, where's the tag? Vintage oil on canvas flowers, 54 bucks. You're coming along. Yes, you are. I love that mirror. Oh, 37. That ain't bad. <laughs> Don't 
definitely gonna need a part two on visiting the Williamsburg Antique Mall. It was so fun to shop. I saw so much good stuff and I couldn't see it all in one trip. So I'll definitely have to come back. But now we're off to downtown historic Williamsburg and we're gonna see what we can find there. Probably not a whole lot of antiques and vintage, but a lot of history. I'm actually very much a syrup snob. I like good syrup. And I kind of want to try this roasted pecan. It sounds really good. I got a ginger ale while I was in there too. I like ginger beer and ginger ale, even if it's non-alcoholic. Pretty good. sat down a little too hard guys i am home and i'm exhausted it's almost 11 30 p.m right now and just did all that driving i'm not even gonna edit today's video tonight i'm gonna do it tomorrow morning <laughs> before my showing thanks for coming on that adventure with me i hope you enjoyed it if you did please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe also hit the bell notification that way you can be notified for whenever i post a new video and please follow me at amanda's mercantile on instagram that way you can see anything that i do behind the scenes i'll see y'all tomorrow bye i keep saying still oh it's still still life <laughs> it's still life. everybody's gonna get on me for mispronouncing that as well don't do it